Hi guys, it's the Power BI Guy here and welcome to lesson 1 of the Beginners to Pro DAX course. Now in this lesson we're going to cover sum and sum x and what the difference is between them and we're going to run through some examples of how to use it. So let's go ahead and view this lesson. Now let's talk about sum. Sum essentially all it does is it adds up all the values in a singular column. Sum x, this is a row by row iterator. So let's go actually go for an example and show you what I mean by this in a table. So we're going to go through sum first. So let's go to the table view and let's click cells. Sum essentially let it does an aggregation of a singular column in your table. So if we have let's say our total costs, sum will do a aggregation so it will add up all the values in a singular column and produce a result. Now that sounds simple and easy enough to understand. So what's sum x? The difference is sum x is a row by row iterator. So what we mean by row by row is sum x what you will do is it will bounce between two, each row and perform the calculation that you have set first. So let's say we wanted to work out total sales but we didn't have this column. What we can do is use sum x to work out the unit price and then the sold quantity and do sum x unit price sales quantity and it will do the calculation of 699 times 10 then it'll do this row then it'll do this row going down going down going down so the difference is sum is essentially an aggregator of a single column and it'll just do the sum immediately sum x will do a row by row calculation and then do a sum of the result on each row so that is the difference in the theory so let's actually go ahead and take a look at sort of the result. Essentially, you, you should get the same answer for if you do a sum and a sum x, because it's it, it's just the, it's a different way of how Power BI is performing the calculation, but the result should be the same. So if we take a look, we have our total sales, and the sum result was 8.47 billion, and the way it worked was we named our measure total sales, sum, brackets and then the column that we want to aggregate as sum is a singular column it will just do an aggregation of that and we have the result now for sum x the difference is essentially um, sum x is a row by row iterator so what I did here instead of using a singular column you can you can use a sim singular column in uh, with sum x but I did a calculation so sum x cells because you have to reference the table name first and the table that you want to row by row iterate so sum x brackets cells and then we did cells unit price times sales quantity so once again what this is doing is sales unit price times sales quantity going down individually row by row and then performing that sum meanwhile sum is just an aggregation of a column of a singular column so let's actually run through an example of what we mean by this now the first question we have is work out the total costs from sales so let's take a look at our column total costs so we have a column called total cost now let's do a sum of that so essentially what we want to do is let's grab a measure let's maybe go to my measures table um, I'm going to create a new measure and we want to do total cost so we're going to do if I can spell total cost total cost sum and then we're going to reference a singular column which is going to be total cost and if we enter that and put that into our visual um, let's put that into our visual we're going to get a result of 3.59 billion now once again let's try this with sum x so work out the total cost from sales using sum x and the two columns that you need is unit cost and the unit quantity column so let's take a look once again so it's unit cost and unit quantity. So unit cost and uh, the unit quantity, sales quantity, that's what I meant. So let's create a new measure for this, for sum x. Let's create a new measure. Let's call this total cost sum x. And with the columns that we need is, so we need to write sum x. And with sum x, you have to reference the table that you're trying to do your calculation in. So in this case, it's the sales table and then our expression so what are we actually trying to do what's the calculation that we're trying to do so it's going to be a unit cost times um, the unit quantity column sales quantity that's what I meant uh, sales quantity and if we close that let's paste that into into our visual 
need to put that into our visual and as you can see the result is exactly the same now it's actually worth covering as well but we used we referenced two columns with some X but do you have to reference two columns no you can reference a single column the difference is that some X will do that calculation on a, at every single row um, some it just works at a total level so let's let's just do that once again let me paste that let's remove the DAX here and let's actually do it of a singular a sum of a singular row using some X so I'm going to create a new measure let's call this total cells sum X single row single column and once again we're going to do sum X uh, reference the table so cells you always want to reference you have to reference your table and then we're going to reference a singular column so um, total costs as we have that column I'm just showing you an example that it doesn't have to be multiple columns you can do a singular column and if I do that enter the measure bring that in and once again you can do a sum X of a of a singular column so why do you use sum then sum now sum X allows you to sort of um, fill your data and allows you to do expressions of more more complex expressions within a measure sum is sort of a singular column and if you need to use sum, you'll know, and when you need to use sum x, you'll need to know, and that's the best way I can explain it. At this stage, if you're trying to do a basic total and you've got that column, use sum. Now, when you get when we get on to further into this course, you're going to realize that you can't use sum to do a lot of things that we need to do, and sum x is going to become the favorable choice. But we'll get that, and I we'll get we'll get there, and I think this is enough for you to sort of understand the concept of sum and sum x. So I hope you enjoyed episode one. It is relatively light. And just to recap what we what we spoke about, uh, sum x is a row by row iterator. So whenever you do a calculation using sum x, it is working down at a row by row level and performing your calculations, then doing the sum of that calculation. Sum will just do that aggregation and of a singular column. It's the Power BI guy here, and let's go on to the next episode.